power factor correction circuits shape the input current of the power supply to be in synchronization with the AC input voltage in order to maximize the real power drawn from the AC supply. In a perfect PFC circuit, the input current is in phase with the input voltage without any input current harmonics. Although active PFC can be achieved in several ways, the boost converter is the most popular topology used in PFC applications. The boost converter can operate in three modes, continuous conduction mode, discontinuous conduction mode, and critical conduction mode. So in today's presentation, I am demonstrating MATLAB simulation of critical conduction mode PFC. Let's get started. What is critical conduction mode PFC? In critical conduction mode, the inductor current is allowed to completely go to zero before the next switching cycle of the MOSFET is initiated. The power switch turns off immediately when the current becomes zero. Hence throughout the cycle of input voltage, the converter operated at different switching frequencies. So when the switch is turned on, the inductor current start increasing. And when the current reaches the reference current, the switch is turned off, and inductor current starts decreasing. And when the current reaches zero, the switch is turned on again and the inductor current start increasing. And this operation repeats for the entire cycle. And this is how critical conduction mode PFC works. One important thing that needs to observe here is that MOSFET turn on when the diode current reaches zero. So the switching loss will be less and can get higher efficiency. But the major problem with this method is that, large peak currents, that result in high DI by DT and RMS currents, conducted throughout the PFC stage. The critical conduction mode is the preferred control method for medium power applications, due to the features of zero current switching and lower peak current, than that of the discontinuous conduction mode. This is the complete control block diagram of the critical conduction mode PFC. Reference voltage of 400 volt is compared with actual output voltage and given to API controller. Output of PI controller is multiplied with absolute value of AC input voltage. Output of the multiplier goes to one terminal of the comparator and the other terminal is connected to the inductor current in order to implement the zero switching logic. The remaining one terminal of the comparator is given the value zero. The output of both the comparator is given to an SR flip-flop and the output of the flip-flop is connected to the gate terminal of the MOSFET, which completes the control block diagram of critical conduction mode PFC. Now we open the math lab and start doing the simulation. Add a AC voltage source. Set peak amplitude 325 volts and frequency 50 Hz. Add a voltage measurement block. Connect it to the AC voltage source. Add a go to block. Name it as VAC. Add a current measurement block. Connect it in series with the source. Add a go-to block. Name it as IAC. Add a diode. Form the single phase bridge using diode. Connect the bridge to the voltage source. Add a series RLC branch. Make branch type inductive and set the value 2 milli Henry. Add a current measurement block. Connect in series with the inductor. Add a go to block. Name it as IL. Add a MOSFET.
Ada from blog. Connected to the gate terminal. Name it as PWM. Add a diode. Copy the RLC branch. Make the branch type capacitor and set the value, 1000 microfarad. Also set initial voltage 400. Copy the RLC branch. Make branch type resistor and set value 80 ohms. Add a voltage measurement block. Add a go-to block. Name it as Vout. Copy the input voltage signal. Add a gain block. Set the value 0 0.01. Add the block which gives the absolute value of the signal. Add a constant block. Set the value 4, which corresponds to 400 volts of reference voltage. Copy the output voltage signal. Add a gain block. Set the value 0 0.01. Add a sum block. Change its sign to plus minus. Add a PID controller. Controller type is PI, and value of KP is 0 0.4 and KI is 10. Add a product block. Add a relational operator. Change the operation to greater than or equal to. Copy the inductor current signal. Add a constant block. Set the value 0. Add an SR flip-flop. Connect it to the relational operator. Connect the output of flip-flop to the MOSFET gate terminal. Add a power guy block. Set simulation type discrete and sample time 1A power minus 7. Open the model settings. Choose fixed step solver type. And step size of 1A power minus 7. Run the simulation for 4 seconds. Add a scope. Connect output voltage to the scope. Copy the scope.
set number of outputs to connect input voltage and current to the scope now run the simulation Now open the scope to view the result. This is the output voltage which is regulated at 400 volts. This is the input voltage and current. Here you can see that the input current is coming to zero at every switching cycle, and that is how, the critical conduction mode PFC works. Now change reference to 4.5 to get 450 volts at the output. Now run the simulation again. This is the output voltage which is now regulated at 450 volts. This is the corresponding input voltage and current. This is the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.